Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here and I have some great updates for you for our UV editor. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here I have a bag and what I want to do is bring this into another 3D software. And I'm going to do that because, you know, it's a bag and sometimes you need some other things to do in other softwares. I'm going to need to use my UV editor to export all the materials out properly so that they're all, they all have the right wrinkling and everything that I need. To do that, I need to access my UV editor. Our UV editor has a move, so where it is now is at the top toolbar up top here, and it's underneath materials UV. So I'll go to materials UV, and then I'll see UV editor and it'll be right there. And then I can select this and my UV editor window will come up. Now I can resize my UV editor window so that it's a little bit bigger and a little easier to see. Now all of my patterns and everything is in my box right here, which is exactly what I want, where I want it to be and what I want. You can of course select all of your pattern pieces and use our auto UV packing for it to automatically pack inside of here if you need to. You can choose zero to one or you can select a tile or anything like that. This is all pretty much set. One of our next really great updates though is you can select pattern pieces here. So this, like, this fabric is a lining, but the lining is different on the inside. You can kind of see that here, like if you peek in here, right here, like you can see this is a different, different fabric, but right now it's only showing like the top fabric. What I'm going to do is select this pattern piece. And if I scroll down to the very bottom here in my property editor, so make sure it's your property editor. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can choose if you want the back face or side face also export it out. So I'm gonna say yes to back, yes to side. Same with this one, I'm gonna say yes to back, yes to side. So this is for my lining. I can also do the same for some of my shell fabrics here. So if I wanted to also have the back of it also showing, I can do that. I'm just gonna also select this one, and on, on. And I can also do that for some of these here. I can choose on and side as well so that my back is showing because I might want to export it out with my back and front and all of that. Now what I can do is I can take a snapshot and this can be here or I can also export this out as any file format as I'd like or anything like that. I'm just going to do a quick X, uh, snapshot. I'm going to have all of these. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save this into the correct path. And then I'll have all of my maps saved out for me. Pretty easy, pretty great, nice updates for myself. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to use that comment section down below. Someone will get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely check out all of our other videos. There's tons of them on our channel. So keep having fun in Clo and thanks so much. 